We move over here, as I talked about last week. <laughs> There's no Mariners news. What's happening? Why is it so quiet? Christmas Eve, that changed. The Mariners gave out a two-year, $24 million deal to catcher's last designated hitter, Mitch Garver. Garver won the World Series last year with the Texas Rangers. Uh, he's had some injury issues, staying healthy, being able to put together at bats, but he does have some proven power. That's big for this Mariners lineup, but it shouldn't be the only move that they make. There's been a lot of discourse about this move. Why are you signing another catcher? Yada, yada, yada. Point being, we look at the, the thing down here. Garver is meant to be the primary designated hitter. From sources, that is how the Mariners view him. They haven't had a primary designated hitter since Nelson Cruz, which if you remember, Nelson Cruz was a few years ago, more than a few years ago. He does have some red flags. I understand that, but he makes the Mariners better than where they currently sat before they signed him. And again, it needs to be only the first step. You need some outfielders. I need a third, uh, an everyday third baseman. I don't want it to be Arias. You know, I'm okay kind of with sticking with Josh Rojas at second base. I know that's not the most popular opinion, but he showed some flashes at the end of the year last season uh, and really wasn't necessarily able to get fully settled here. But, you know, I, I feel good about him. So, yeah, it, there needs to be other things done if you're going to be better than you were at the end of last year. Uh, and if you're going to compete in the AL West, you still have to compete with the Astros. They're not going away yet. You have to compete with this Rangers team that just won the World Series, you know, and didn't necessarily lose a ton. Um, his, you know, so I don't know. Yeah, with Mitch Garver, you're looking at him here. Uh, his WRC plus was at 138, which would have been the best in the Mariners lineup if he was on this uh, team last season. So, you know, and, and a few days before the Mariners had lost Tom Murphy to free agency uh, as he signed a two year deal with the San Francisco Giants. If we compare the numbers overall, Garver has a lot better numbers than Tom Murphy in just about every stat, whether it be war games played, played appearances, hits, home runs, RBIs, stolen stolen bases. Uh, to be fair, Garver has two. Murphy has zero. Um, we go down the list, OPS plus, OPS, et cetera. So I am fine with this move. You know, again, it fills a designated hitter spot that you really haven't been able to cement over the course of the past six years or so. You know, it was a struggle this year. You hoped that guys like Cooper Hummel, would fit in there. Tommy La Stella, that didn't work. You tried to dip your hand into the giant bin of discount CDs at Walmart and you hope to pull out an Emmy. It wasn't going to happen. Um, Garver, I, you know, I feel happy with that. That's your primary designated hitter. Leave him alone. He can give Cal days off. I know that you brought in Zebi Zavala. That's fine. Uh, but I, I trust Garver more to do that. Even then, if you've got those two guys on your roster, one of them on your bench, more reason to keep Cal Raleigh healthy uh, and give him some days off. So feel confident in that. But again, it cannot be the only thing that the Mariners do. Where do they sit if they're still looking at Randy Rosarena and Isak Paredes? Is that still in, in you know the realm of possibility? It can't be the only move that the Mariners make. It just simply cannot. So um, that's all we've got for the Mariners. Again, I know I talked about it. Oh, there's finally some Mariners. That's the only thing that happened. You know?